Thank you for taking the time to learn more about me. My name is Brianna, otherwise known as Silverfuse. And I'm Silverfuse. I stream and do YouTube for Legends. I've experienced as an analyst, interviewer, play-by-play, -play, as well as color commentator. Most of my experience lies within card games and real-time strategy games, but I enjoy a wide variety of games including first-person shooters and auto-battlers. I've casted at live events as well as remote ones. I was also a guest on Bethesda's PAX panel. If you have an esports opportunity, you can contact me at my email, silverfusebusiness at gmail.com, or message me through Twitter at silverfuseplays. I'm excited for the opportunity to work with you. Boom's Life wasn't half facing that fat on come down again. Once again, that is a card that determines these games because now you're forced to fight for that field lane. Well, I would say between everyone, these two have brought the most interesting decks that are just a little bit different, not as traditional as we see. So seeing how those pay off for them, I think is really interesting. So that will be the swing in for Lethal. Our fairy friends are going to take this game away. Rattling Bones, unfortunately for him, his tournament series will be over, but still having a strong nonetheless and Lamparchi will be continuing on. The idea with this position here makes a lot of sense. You assume that the Tasty Fae Folk is going to be blocking the Nocturne and you want to make sure this lifesteal is getting the least amount of value possible. So with this it only lifesteals for two. Rather if it's Nocturne at the very end it would be lifestealing for four. So this allows Lamparchi to get two extra damage in this way which is critical when you're playing these aggressive lists. It is an interesting race where he would have preferred to develop the Sower Revenge instead, but is kind of forced to deal with this Varen here. The reason to ban Crusader as well, just because we saw him 3-0 earlier with it, you have to kind of take that into account that he was doing very well with that deck. But I think the Red Urn's a little bit more scary, personally. 